The announcement of next generation consoles always had the power to move the world. The same was with the announcement of the fifth generation of Sony PlayStation. It is one of the most recognizable consoles with a lot of exclusive AAA titles, but also unique indie games. Game developers around the world do dream about making admired games and reaching the console players too. Why am I talking about this? Because it is now possible to port your games to PlayStation with the default game engine. So there were two announcements of the default foundation regarding consoles. First one was about making the access to Nintendo Switch build tools and game engine plugin absolutely free. For a background default already had support for Switch, but access to this was given to developers who were supporting default with monthly donations. They decided now to give it for free. This does not mean you can make a game for the console without any costs, because every console manufacturer is requiring you to join their respective developers program, and you might need to use their development versions of their hardware. Such costs are though hidden behind signed NDA, non-disclosure agreements, so you can't legally receive such information without signing it first. We can only guess it is possible for many indie developers to afford such costs, because we see many games released on Nintendo eShop for example. Those are many times made and published by one person. Having this in mind, it is nevertheless a huge advantage for the developers, because they can use the default engine to port their games to consoles on their own, without any third-party support like it is the case with some other engines. So it is in fact a very convenient option for us. The second announcement is even bigger. Default announced official support for PlayStation and this means you can prepare your game to be released there. To clarify things, Default currently only provides support for the PS4 console, but games made for PlayStation 4 will also run on PlayStation 5 in compatibility mode. Official PS5 console support will be available later this year. Knowing how easy it is to create and release the game for other supported platforms with Default, it is a pleasure to know you can now have a possibility to release on the next-gen hardware. The announcement is simply about the Default Foundation being now a verified and official middleware provider for the Japanese consoles, and that the access for the build tools and the default game engine plugin is now given also for free. There are a few steps you need to accomplish though. First of them is to register for the Sony PlayStation Partners program. The same is in the case of the Nintendo platform. Besides, it is called there a Nintendo developer. Where you are approved by Nintendo or Sony, you will get access to the tools and middleware page of the developer portal where you can sign up for default access. When you successfully register, the default foundation will be notified about it. You can now create your game for a console with defaults built-in support for gamepads and utilize the tools to build the version of your game for the given console. Also, did you notice this small little tab called Microsoft Xbox? It states that the default team is actively working on becoming a middleware provider for Microsoft's consoles too. So, in the future we could expect closing the support for the great trinity here. To clarify things, console middleware is proprietary and can't be released as open source. So, the access to the source code of the default game engine, which is normally available online, is only given to developers still after supporting the foundation with monthly donations. But note, it is not necessary to make a game. So only if you do have a crucial need to modify the source code of the game engine on your own, which isn't really the case for most of the games, but some professionals might want to, you will need to pay for the access to the source code. In the case of default, it is $200 per month, regardless of the team size. And additionally, you have 2 hours of one-on-one -on -one support and a lot of shutouts. And as mentioned earlier, it is only for the engine source code access. And this is why giving console support tools for free is a game changer here. Pricing of the console support for other game engines varies a lot. For example, Unity users need to use Unity Pro, which costs $185 per seat per month. For Game Maker, it's almost $80 monthly, and Godot relies only on third-party companies and doesn't have official console support, so we don't know the price. Releasing on consoles is not easy, but if you are sure about your vision and certain about your plans, you can now, more than ever, give it a try. 
To encourage you even more, after joining developer programs and signing NDAs, you could be able to join closed forums where you could ask for help or share your experience. There are already some games made with defaults successfully released on Nintendo Switch, like Fates of Ord by 8-Bit School, Interrogation You Will Be Deceived by Critic Gaming, or Trigger Dungeon and Sector 781 by Ben James. What do you think you could release on Nintendo Switch or Sony PlayStation?